Hi, it's Friday, June 29th, 2012. I'm Addie Robertson, and you're about to experience 90 Seconds on the Verge. According to Reuters, Research in Motion is under mounting pressure to do something more drastic than just staying the course with BlackBerry 10. One of the more interesting options could involve Microsoft. Reuters also says the company has approached RIM about switching over to Windows Phone. It's all rumor at this point, but one thing's for certain, RIM is likely considering some pretty dire solutions to what is clearly a very dire situation. Speaking of Microsoft, HP has confirmed that it will not be selling ARM-based Windows RT tablets when Windows 8 launches later this year. Instead, it'll focus on tablets with Intel's x86 platform. The company says that's due in part to a larger app ecosystem, since Intel tablets will work with any Windows software, while ARM-based Windows RT can only run the new Metro platform. So far, the only confirmed Windows RT tablets include ASUS's Tablet 600 and Microsoft's own Surface. In Google News, this week we sat down with Android UX director Matthias Duarte. Matthias talked to us about Google Now as a platform and how he wanted the back of the Nexus 7 to feel like Steve McQueen's racing gloves. Our own Joshua Topolsky today published his review of the ASUS Nexus 7, calling it the best Android tablet yet. For $200, it's also a great buy overall, even though the Google Play market still doesn't have a lot of tablet-optimized apps. You can check out the review and our full video interview with Matthias Duarte at TheVerge.com. That's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow for our report on telepathic messaging. Who owns the spectrum?